there's a lot of Tai Chi masters that are really not liking. I know wax on and wax off, and that's about it, and that's not even Tai Chi. Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> yes. That's what they call me uh -huh. on the weekends. Yeah. Well, we're going to talk to a man from China who left his house at the age of five to go train because they saw potential in him. And he is like the Bruce Lee of Chinese action films. And he is now opened up a studio here in Bend. Unbelievable. We have so many, <laughs> so many athletes in this town. Let's watch. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on. They're probably the most famous four words ever uttered when it comes to the popular perception of martial arts. Four. Fight. Ready, eight, block. Now, while his instructions aren't exactly Mr. Miyagi-like, the students of Master Zhen Feng Chen do pay close attention to a man who's devoted most of his life to the martial arts, and much of it in China. I started since I was three years old with my daddy just by the river with the old guy by the river practice by himself. And uh, then after that I become very serious. So when I take it uh, first grade, the school and the school have school team. And then they, they say asking me, you want to practice martial arts? I say, yes, why not? I, I, I'm always doing it. Watch me, you gotta switch. See, switch, switch. I'm passionate about it see, every time when I see the kid when they're walking in the first day until maybe weeks later or a month later seeing how they're improving, how they show me respect to the, me, to the parents, and how they're doing a good thing to how the people. When I see that every time I see that, I feel so happy. With Oregon Tai Chi Wushu opening less than a year ago, students of all ages immediately were drawn to Master Chen's teachings. When the energy from left side transfer to your right, press out. He's trained so many hours and from such a young age and in competition and all that kind of thing that he, like he, every time like there's a detail, I'll learn at least one detail every class. It doesn't matter. And I'm sure that'll go on forever. With exhale. Now way back with inhale. Out, exhale. Everybody has stress sometimes. Now when they come here to find the peace, even they walk in this room, and say, oh, I feel the peace. And then we practice with me, and then we flow the energy to find a better balance, and we find more peace. And, you know, as we say, you know, you find the best balance for yourself, and I'm happy. That's what I'm looking for. So everybody can do Tai Chi. A younger student, uh, even four years old. For older, I have uh, experienced it from four years old to even 90 years old. If you can move, you know, even if I have a teaching experience, people even sit in the wheelchair. Everybody can try different way. Tai Chi could be hard, could be soft. You want to try harder, you can go lower stance and uh, that could be hard. After that, a lot of people, they always test in there. Even better than running, when you run very hard, you can do Tai Chi, also feel that. Hard. At the same time, you can do very relaxed practice. You can do higher stance and make it easier. And that already, already let your internal energy moving. So, all ages. Sue Ryberg, an acupuncturist, has been studying Tai Chi on and off for a couple of decades now. In your 20 years, what have you learned? What has Tai Chi, tai chi taught you? Oh, Tai Chi has taught me balance calmness, being centered, um, physical um, balance and physical strength. Um, and then every move is actually a martial arts move. That's what I like about it. Master Chen already has hit the big screen in some Chinese movies, but he's still keeping sharp because you never know when it'll be Hollywood calling next. <laughs>